Officials are ruling out terrorism in the fiery crash that led to the death of two people at the Rainbow Bridge crossing in Niagara Falls. Faiza Amin is on the Canadian side of the bridge. Faiza, what are you learning? Well, Melissa, we're currently in a parking garage overlooking the Rainbow Bridge crossing. You can see it here behind me and it is eerily quiet. No vehicles coming in or out. That is because it is currently closed on the Canadian side of things. There were big trucks that were brought in yesterday to help close off the parameter as the investigation was uh, going on this morning. Those trucks have left, but there's still a closure here as the investigation into this fiery crash where two people died remains ongoing as to what led to this incident that still remains unknown at this point but we do have security camera footage showing the moments a vehicle appears to be racing through an intersection around 11 30 a.m hitting a low median and flying through the air in a u.s customs and border protection area two people are dead the deadly car crash and subsequent explosion led to concerns on both sides of the border prompting the closure of three other border crossings between New York and Ontario for hours. They have since reopened. And then yesterday, we also saw police patrols stepped up in Toronto as well as at Pearson Airport, just as a precaution, we were told. And then uh, last night, the FBI saying it concluded the investigation, ruling out terrorism and saying no explosive devices were found at the scene. Then Ni the Niagara Falls police now taking over, investigating the circumstances that led to the incident. They say there is no known threat on the Canadian side of the Niagara border. The identities of the two deceased have not been released. Reports say it was a husband and wife and the male driver reportedly a resident of Western New York, a border patrol worker who was protected from the crash by a booth, received minor injuries, and has since been released from hospitals. We continue to speak with witnesses. Here's what one had to say. A car is right on the side. Oh, my goodness, it's spreading. This, probably a sedan, uh, was in flames so quick, and the smoke was so thick. It looked like it was sideways or upside down. The, the trunk had blown off. There was uh, debris everywhere. Um, so it just it, it looked really terrible. And all this happening on the busiest travel day in the U.S. It is American Thanksgiving and the governor of New York also noting that this is the busiest U.S.-Canada border crossing. We spoke with the mayor of Niagara Falls. Here's what he had to say. Well, it could have been catastrophic. I mean, our four border crossings, we get 10 million vehicles a year. Niagara Falls is the number one leisure destination in Canada. We get 14 million visitors. It's the busiest holiday in the U.S. They're Thanksgiving, and we've got Black Friday and Cyber Monday. It's a crazy busy time and something we weren't expecting. And then we were thinking the worst, are we going to have people stranded, maybe in our hotels? And I've spent time also walking around speaking to locals here and they do know that it is eerily quiet on this day and going into the weekend. It is Black Friday tomorrow and so there are Canadians who use this bridge to head into the U.S. looking for those sales. According to U.S. officials, about 6,000 vehicles across the Rainbow Bridge crossing daily. Melissa. Yeah, it is strange to see it so quiet there. Thanks for that, Faiza. An update from Faiza Amin in Niagara Falls.